city of Lancaster really pride ourselves in working hard, being innovative, and being passionate about what we do, and solving problems. No problem is too big for us. We will tackle anything. We are so proud today to partner with two other leaders in their field that share that same passion and same innovation. That would be BY Homes and uh, BYD Corporation and KB Home. Uh, this is truly a day that we've been looking forward to. This is truly a, a partnership that has the potential to change the way we consume and use and manage energy. And to tell you a little bit more about that, I'd like to introduce uh, our leader, the mayor of our city, Mayor R. Rex Paris. Good morning. Thank you for coming. I got a couple stories I want to tell you because I think they're relevant to what we're doing here today. You know, about 20 years ago, there was a scientist at Caltech. He was actually a mathematician. And he spent a lot of time in his office working numbers. And the numbers he was working was what's happening to our, the world's oil supply. And he came up with the concept of peak oil, that we were soon going to reach the point where we could no longer produce the oil that the world was demanding, that peak oil. It's just, we're running out. And for 15 years, he was the scourge of the scientific community. Nobody, nobody bought into it, nobody believed him, nobody, everybody thought he was a little nuts, uh, except for one person, and that was his son-in-law, Bill Gross. Bill Gross is the founder of eSolar. You know, there, there was a connection to it all. And now, Bill Gross's father-in-law is, is one of the most respected scientists in the in that, that area of science, because he was right. There isn't any doubt. It, they don't know if it's this year. They don't know if it's next year. 10 years from now, we'll decide when was that magical date where we reached peak oil. What does that mean to us? It means that the cost of oil and energy is just going to go up and up and up. Eventually, it reaches the point that we can no longer afford to live the way we're living. In Lancaster, we believe that if we are the first city in the world to get to zero uh, dependence on, on uh, outside energy for, for all of our needs, it puts us in an incredible, incredible competitive advantage. It's a 10-year thing. In 10 years, if most of our energy needs are being, being produced by the very homes that are using it, it's going to be a whole different competitive process that we engage ourselves in. We set out to do that with our relationship with eSolar initially. We have the first plant in the world that produces energy from the sun at a profit. A lot of people have done it, but nobody's done it at a profit. eSolar is now doing it at a profit. And that is the supply side of our energy problem. What we're here today about is the demand side. If we can reduce the amount of energy we're using and the cost of it, it becomes much more affordable to live for all of the hardworking families in the Antelope Valley and everywhere else. And it was fortuitous that one day, the Vice Mayor, Ron Smith and I, were invited to this dinner with Stella and Sherman Wong of BYD. And we didn't know why we were going, did we? I mean, it was one of those things that it, there was a communication error. And so all we knew is that the supervisor wanted us there. And then we met these, the most amazing people. Chairman Wong of, of BYD, he invented this new type of battery and has done things with, with electrical storage that's never, never been done before. Why I was so fascinated is because Bill Gross told me it was impossible to store the energy from these power stations. You know? And the chairman was telling me, no, we can do that. And so there was a, there was a dissonance that, that I found quite interesting. As you know, I recently got back from China. I saw that storage facility. They're actually doing it. And, and they're doing it in, in a lot of innovative ways. One is with the solar panels where they charge it up and, and you know, they just a battery storage thing and then they release it back into the factory. But they also use the grid to, to charge these batteries. And then they release the energy during peak times, cutting their consumption, their cost of consumption of, of energy astronomically. Because as you all know, you don't want to be washing your clothes uh, at 12 noon. You know, it, it costs more. At least that's what my wife told me when I was doing the laundry last week. So, <laughs> uh, 
uh, and that is the, the concept that we're dealing with here, is with this storage capacity, we're able to take these photovoltaic cells, put it into a battery, and then release it into the house during peak energy times, cutting your electric bill, just, it just plummets. Now, I'm worried about these Edison guys, you know. <laughs> I don't want you changing the rate structure, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but it, it redefines how America is going to use energy in their house. On top of that, they didn't stop there. What they did is that, that house is the, and I've been in that house in China, the, the whole technology of that house, it uses very little water. It can have, it, it produces all of the electricity it needs to, to operate. And that is the goal of eventually what these houses will do. This phase of the house is just to be the most energy efficient house that's affordable. There's a lot of these houses across the country but none of us can afford to buy them. This is a house, this concept is going to be, can the average family buy this house and use half or even less than that of the energy they normally do? We believe they can. I'm incredibly proud of the city of Lancaster, the staff. I mean, there is no city in America that has done what they've done in this particular case. 45 days ago, Stella from BYD, who's the number two person with BYD, had never met these folks from K&B. They'd never met each other 45 days ago. Within 45 days, we are now breaking ground on the most energy efficient, affordable house in the world. We did that in 45 days from the time that the vice mayor and I were talking to the city manager, and we were just having a, you know, just one of those sessions we have that go on for hours. And uh, we're just talking, and all of a sudden, one of us said, why don't we put them together with K&B and see if the two of them, the two companies, can actually build one of these houses that's affordable, that people will buy. And so the great experiment started. The city said, we waived the building fees, we, uh, Mark got on the phone, called Tom DePrima, and said, can we do this? He says, well, let me talk to the boss, and he talked to the boss. <laughs> then we called BYD, and BYD said, well, we'll talk to anybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody really thought much would come of it right away. And Stella gave us the most wonderful compliment just a, just a half hour ago. She said, you know, we're a very aggressive company, and we're used to, this, to government delaying us. This is the first time government was pushing us, right? Isn't that what happened? And that really is what's going to be required for cities in America to become competitive with the rest of the world. We have got to remove obstacles. And that is what I think that as a mayor, it's my job to do. And as a city staff, it's Mark's job to do. It's to remove the obstacles. And by removing them, everybody's going to want to come here. Those, uh, those solar panels, an interesting story on those. They're the cheapest solar panels in the world. And the reason is, is because Chairman Wong of BYD figured out if we get the silicon that doesn't have boron in it, we could produce them for half the cost. And that's what he did. I mean, it was a very simple process, a very simple change. And those are cheaper than any solar panels out there. They're actually going to solve the energy requirements of this country, I think, in a very short period of time. It's truly revolutionary. I can't tell you how proud I am to be part of it. And I can't tell you how proud you should be of being part of this. This is an historic day, and one of the reasons I know that it's windy. You know, we never have an historic day in Lancaster that's not windy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I look forward to seeing all of you in a couple months when those houses are up and running and will redefine how Americans live. Thank you. We as staff, I get to represent staff, and we really appreciate the leadership that the mayor has shown, but the staff here are the ones that do all the work, and I really salute my hat. It's a pleasure to work with such a great staff. Before I introduce our next speaker, I'd like to introduce a couple other folks the mayor alluded to. We have Nam uh, Pinsky and Perry Harrelson from Southern California Edison. We also have the chair and vice chair of our planning commission, Jim Vos and Sandy Smith. 
And we have Miss Lancaster, Jenna Smith, Sandy's daughter, who's celebrating her 17th birthday today. All of us in our professional lives, there are people that we call that we don't want to call, that we're saying, oh, I can't deal with this person because I'm going to get a story of why they can't. And then there's those rare people that you call and you know that you're going to go right to the how we do it, not why we can't. Tom DePrima is one of those people. Tom DePrima with KB Home is a pleasure to work with, is an unsung hero in this community, and it's a pleasure to introduce my friend Tom DePrima. Good morning. Thank you for all coming. Um, you know, I, uh, I moved out to the Antelope Valley some 22 years ago and really fell in love with this community. And uh, I always comment to everybody, it's still one of those places where you pick up paper in the morning and you read about our kids and you read about things going on. And I really love it. And, you know, we, we've been involved with a lot of programs here in the Antelope Valley. And it's, um, I, uh, I, I served with uh, my Vice Mayor uh, um, Ron Smith on... Uh, trying to solve some of our water issues. Uh, you get to see uh, what, what some of this new drought tolerant landscape looks like. We were uh, one of the first builders to put it into a track home and implement the new procedures. And um, I guess sometimes when you, you get involved, uh, they, uh, <laughs> they get to know you very well and know who to call when they want to do something. Uh, so we're, uh, we're very fortunate at KB Home to have the opportunity to work with BYD and work with the city. Um, this city is so innovative and so forward thinking on the things they're doing. And, that's one of the things that KB Home prides themselves on. So when we were asked to put this project together, we were, we were extremely excited. Uh, one of the components of this project is uh, BYD will be providing KB Home the, the panels. They'll be providing us the inverters. Uh, they'll be providing the battery technology, which is something kind of new. We've, we've already been working in, in, at KB Home and putting solar panels in, in projects and actually offering it as an option in our homes. But this battery technology is, is really new, and it's something that we think adds a new, new factor to this that hasn't been there before. What's great is you've got two companies coming together with a lot of expertise, and we have the opportunity to work together to learn from that expertise, to be able to create more environmentally friendly homes and systems for our, for our homeowners. Um, we're, we're really excited to work with BYD. We've already been in several meetings and, and designing. We've actually... Uh, been able to outline a community of where we're going to uh, do these demonstration homes. Now, what we hope to gain through this demonstration is how do we put our put our um, expertise together? Uh, KB Home will be uh, installing the system and, and developing and building the system. BYB will be providing the components, so we're working together. And our and our long-term goal on this is how do we do how do we get quicker to the point of creating affordability um, in in this um, new system? And ultimately, affordability of reducing energy costs makes homes more affordable and puts more homeowners in, in homes. And that's really our, our major goal here in this is how do, how do we get together. And there are a lot of people talk about doing things. They sit together and they, they strategize. And, and this is, as the mayor alluded to, and, you know, 45 days ago, we said, how do we do this? And here we are. We're actually going to be building this. Um, you're literally sitting on the first home site that will uh, this, this location will be the first home site where we'll be building the first home. We'll, we'll do a demonstration home up front, make sure that we, we understand all the technology. Uh, we really hope that when we demonstrate this home in, in a few short months that you'll be able to see some of the technology. Um, if you get a chance to go in this third model here, you'll actually see incandescent lights and LED lights, and you really cannot tell the difference except for the fact that the LED lights are using four to six six watts versus... Uh, an incandescent light that uses considerably mo more energy. So we'll have LED lights in these homes. Um, we'll have the power system and we'll have the battery system. Uh, so it's a really, really exciting project and we're happy to do this. And hopefully through all this, we can share practices of how we can get the cost down. Um, BYD shared a story with me that was very interesting in the fact that they were one of the um, key uh, companies that drove cell phones down. And uh, now, I don't know that there's probably anybody, in fact, hopefully you turn your cell phones off, but uh, for those of you that uh, probably everybody in the room has cell phones, um, we have uh, today, I, uh, unfortunately, even our kids have cell phones, but the fortunate part about that is uh, that we've been able to drive the cost down to make that happen, and our goal through this program is to do the same. If we can get the cost down 
on this program and make it affordable for every homeowner, uh, it, it's going to really help us reduce our carbon footprint, really help us extend our, our energy needs for, for generations to come. So we're very excited about this program. We thank the city for allowing us to be part of this, and we thank you all for coming today. Uh, as a city manager, sometimes it's frustrating because you don't get to do a lot. You know, you want to contribute to an event like this, put the tent up, which would be a bad news for you folks if I did that, put a chair, et cetera. But uh, I thank Tom. Uh, yesterday, he allowed me to screw the light bulb in the house, the first BYD light bulb. <laughs> and after the obligatory jokes of how many city managers does it take to screw a light bulb, I really did get a thrill out of that, so I thank you for that, Tom. He also didn't want to fall off the chair as well. Um, with that, another person who represents the spirit of KB Home and a person who truly, again, in the position he's in, it's a lot of times easier to say, no, we don't want to take the risk, but said, no, we're going to do this. This is the right thing to do. It's great. Let's go for it. Steve Ruffner. Uh, thank you, Mark. Um, it's our pleasure. For 50 years, KB Home has delivered affordable housing to many communities. What, uh, what makes the city of Lancaster so special is we have worked here for decades with them to, to be on the cutting edge of affordable housing. We were one of the first builders to do Energy Star qualified homes uh, throughout the state and also the nation, and also uh, participate with the city of Lancaster on the low using water landscaping that you see here with very low water consumption. And now we're, we're proud to be involved with the city and with BYD to present this new technology that hopefully will revolutionize solar and also make it affordable for everyone, not just, uh, not, not just the higher end home ownership. So we're, we're really happy to be part of the program. The city of Lancaster has been an incredible partner um, when they called us and asked us to participate in the program. We really felt like we owed them for the decades of service that they've allowed us to offer our customers here and we're proud to do it and we really look forward to you being able to see this home complete and really see the benefits that it's going to bring to, uh, to um, first time uh, home ownership in the valley here. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Steve. Um, our mayor is um, rarely starstruck, for lack of a better term, but after the um, dinner he had, he went on and on about the conversations he had with Stella Lee and the vision that she had, and, um, uh, and I have rarely seen him like that. Uh, and it's my pleasure to introduce Stella Lee from BYD. Hi, good morning. I, we are so pleased and, uh, and impressed by the commitment from Lancaster and the KB Home teams to meet the California uh, Green Energy Goal. So yet a lot of companies talking about to support the green energy policy, but yet their solution is far, far too expensive for the mass market adoption. So, but for BYD, we're doing something differently. We are here to commit to creating something for the consumer, for mass market adopter, affordable, like a home solo and the energy storage, and also the lighting solution. So actually, uh, myself, I was very impressed by the way Lancaster is doing, especially uh, for the, the mayor, Mr. Paris. His personal commit, commitment to make the city of Lancaster is more cleaner and uh, to change the city in a different way. So I will share one story. Like, in the himself personal uh, commit, himself participated in a conference call three times with the team to discuss how to make things happen 45 days. And when he called me, Stella, I want this project happen in 45 days. I was like, wow, it's challenging. I'm a very aggressive person. A lot of people complain, Stella, you're too, too aggressive, always push schedule. But this time I said, OK, Mr. Mayor, you are two times aggressive than me. <laughs> yeah. So this gave me a very good taste about the California spirit. And it gave me a very good taste about the LA counties doing and build our confidence to set up a home in California, in LA County. You know, BYD stands for Build Your Dreams. So, like, we have a big dream is we can, working together, everybody here can generate green, drive green, and support green. 
I think uh, I believe like uh, Mr. Mayor in Lancaster, his dreams make the cities cleaner, and uh, then the people when they sit in their house, they they can enjoy to saving electricity bill, save money for their daily expense. But at the same time, they have a big proud, like uh, they have a big contribution to the environment, make our planet cleaner. So. I'm happy here and uh, really appreciate and uh, very enjoy the relationship we build with uh, Mr. Mayor from Lancaster and uh, KB Home, yeah, our partner. This is the way we change the world. We uh, build our dream. Let's work together to build our green dream here. Thank you. I'm sure there are other uh, dignitaries in the audience that I forgot to uh, uh, introduce, and I apologize for that. Um, as we said, we are truly excited in Lancaster to put something together this momentous, the staff, please give the hand of the city of uh, hand to the city of Lancaster staff for all the hard work that they've done. <laughs> there will be opportunities afterwards for the media to introduce any of our folks up here or, or uh, interview any of the folks up here, ask questions, etc. Now I'd like to invite our mayor back up again, Mayor Paris, and Tom DePrima from KB Home and Stella. They're going to uh, uh, sign the document um, uh, memorializing this occasion. Mayor. Thank you for coming. We're going to change the world. I hope you all join us and enjoy it as much as we are. Thank you.